Okay, welcome to uh, game three of the match, Illyby versus Team OK, game two of the commentary. I'm here with Janelles. Uh, Janelles, what do you think of this uh, this kingdom? I'm not a big fan of it. Um, <laughs> you, you got one good draw card here, which you have to play with, which is stables. But stables of solo draw is often very, very sad uh, because it leads to um, potentially game-defining duds. Uh, but you have to do it because there's no other good way to draw your deck. And so I think we're going to see that. But like stables on a deck full of curses, for example, is prone to failure. And something like Sage, which is nice to skip over coppers, also skips over, or skip over curses, also skips over all the coppers that you want to feed to the stables. Yeah, um, exactly. And so we had Team OK open Stables Monastery, which seems totally fine. I think I would have preferred Trading Post Monastery. Um, gets you thinner faster, and silvers are a pretty good card in a deck with stables because you kind of have to use money as your main payload. Um, that being said, they had an unfortunate turn three where they drew the, the monastery with two coins in hand. So you see they had to buy a copper to trash an estate, which is an upgrade, but barely one. Um, a Libby went for familiar. It looks like Team OK followed suit, but late. I think from the 5-2, I might just consider skipping um, Potion. Um, like trading post plus monastery feels like it's fast enough trashing um, that you could deal with the curses as they come in. Yeah, you're just because you, you know you're not buying a familiar till turn three or four, and then you're not playing it till turn five, and so by turn you know it's not you don't have three curses in your deck till like turn eight or nine, at which point you're getting a ton of curses fast. But if you can get deck control by turn eight with the trading post and the stables and the monastery going, and you can just trash the curses as they come in. Yeah, like I, I, I'm willing to believe it might be a good thing, like worthwhile investment of on three, four, maybe. Um, but on five, two, given that you're already late to the game on getting the potion, I probably just wouldn't bother. Your opponent's going to have uh, given out the lion's share of the curses before you can anyway. And those, those familiars, they're you know that you're banking on the the huge cost of buying the potion and spending your buys buying familiars. You're banking on that cost being. Um, a, a lot lower than your all the curses your opponent has to absorb. Yep. I am not sure what Team OK is doing here. They bought a copper to trash a copper? Hmm. Gotta lower that copper pile for the uh, copper pile out. Maybe they're just thinking, oh, I want to trash one more, and then didn't. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't actually matter in the end, but yeah, so thoughts on the other parts of this kingdom. Um, I think province seems better here than duchy and duke because, uh, again, stables just gets really bad the with protracted greening phases. So your yeah. deck will crap out if you add a bunch of victory cards to it, and province has the, the virtue of being fewer victory cards. That familiar seems quite bad at this point. Yeah, maybe they're going for tower points. Maybe they're going to try to take the last three familiars. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but you're, it's worth it. But Alien still has, so they can just, you know, once your opponent has bought, you know, two more, they can buy one. And even if you have net, you know, six to four split, you're only getting two VP, and that was two full buys that you lose out on. Yeah. You got to add targets for. That's the that they also don't have. I do not believe curses count towards the tower. Maybe they do. No, curses are counted by tower. Uh, so once the curse is empty, they're all worth zero points. Okay. It's confusing to me. I always think they're victory cards, but they're actually just curses because they've got the victory card sign. Curses right have both the name curse and the type curse, which I believe is actually a bit of a hindrance in terms of design. Like, Donald X called it that, and now you can't add any other cards that are, like, curse type, because if a card says curse, it would be ambiguous whether you're referring to, like, curse the specific card or curse, like, the curse type. Um, or you just have to very carefully design the curse, that new card. Yeah, so what we have instead is, like, hexes, for example, which have their own type. Um, is the, the substitute for that. Yeah, we could just have type purple, but... Then we'd have to go um, probably and uh, amend various cards from the set, like gold and copper, to have type purple as well. So the curses seem to have done their work. Both these decks 
don't seem to be functioning super well at this point. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the decks are not looking strong. Uh, I, I think Timo K's deck would probably be a lot more okay right now if there were a trading post um, from the start. Yeah, because it, it's doing two things, right? It's thinning you, and it's giving you silvers, so you're much more likely to hit five. Uh, and, and giving you silver also means your monastery will thin you more. So like, if you had a hand with... Um, Trading post and three jump cards, you could trash all of them. Or if you drew with stables and played trading post, you could trash four cards total. Um, yeah. Um, they seem to be slowly, slowly getting things under control and adding in stables. Uh, nobody's hit six yet, I think, to add an altar. Yeah, I think altar would be pretty reasonable in six. You can gain the stables. Um, and. I think I want another stable there for Illibi. Why do we have villas? What? I'm, I'm thinking about this now. Why are there villas gained? Team OK gained a villa so they could trash a copper over. That sounds wor villa anything. seems worse. Like than you could have just gained yeah. a silver or a sage or something. Like copper can get discarded to stables. Villa cannot. Correct. Villa seems like a pretty pure stop card here. Uh, I don't know what that... Are they trying to find the Monastery? But the Sage is never going to find the Monastery. Because Monastery only costs two. I really dislike these Villas. Villa Stables is not an engine that sounds very appealing to me. Right, they could have just bought, not bought a Villa and gotten the Animal Fair there and their deck would be a little bit better, I think. Yeah, like... If you don't need the actions, which they don't, you know, you don't need the buy, which they also don't really. The villa is basically just like a copper in your deck, but it's worse than a copper. <laughs> and they have a total of each of each deck has a total of one terminal. Yeah, and they're you know Alibi trashed a, a villa, so it, which means they're not like going for some kind of villa tower points thing, which again doesn't seem like it's it's actually a combo to be going for, but... Yeah, I'm a little confused. We'll see now if Team OK just goes for goes for the greening. Now you gotta get the rest of the familiars. <laughs> I called it. Yeah. Strange, but... It's not, like... Even if they get all the, you know, a 7-3 to three split in familiars, that they're getting four victory points in a a single province is worth six victory points. Yeah. And it's one card in your deck versus, I guess, the familiars are technically card neutral, but... Hmm. So, A. Libby hits nine here. I would think, like, a stables and a silver. Could be alter silver, maybe. Maybe it's a little late for that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, the altar can, can gain duchies, so... Why the villa? Why Don't encourage them to buy villas. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason to buy... I honestly don't see a reason to have any villas in this deck. If okay. your altar collides with your animal affair and you really need to play both, you could just get the villa then. But it would be also should have gotten another... Villa is a good card to have in your deck. Villa is a strong card because it exists in the supply... For when you need it, and you just leave it there, and then buy it when when the situation arises. Hey, Libby could have bought a copper to trash another curse there. Um, and here I expect to see Team OK do that. Yeah, I like buying the copper. Copper I think is a lot better than curse. But again, that was a spot where you're not going to have eight all that often in these decks. It looks like. So, I'm. I think I'm going to try to grab province when I when I can. <laughs> Slowly. I thought Alibi could have waited like a turn longer for, for provincing. And built a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, like taking stables, for example, is functionally one point because I'd expect that pile to run out before the end of the game. Yeah, so stable silver here. Yeah. Although, like, if you've already started greening, it often feels like. Like, it's wrong to go back from greening and start building again, because 
if it is true that you should be building here, then it has to have been true that you should have been building last turn. And so it could be that you're just like, oh yeah, I screwed up. I, I started greening too early and you just call it a sunk cost and go back to building. Um, but I think players are, are generally unlikely to do that because like you wouldn't start greening unless you thought your deck was at the point where greening was um, the best option. Oh, no, I'm villa. not sure what's oh, happening. So they, they bought a villa functionally to buy an animal fair for um, cheap. I guess animal fair seems fine in this deck right now. Um, but again, like if you're going to build here, you should have built previously. You could have done like animal fair stables in the previous turn. Sometimes you start by time. You start greening and you see your opponent doesn't. Like, oh, my opponent hit three that turn. Like, I thought I had to green aggressively, but it looks like I don't need to. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess the, the, the Villa Animal Fair thing does take uh, two buys. So they couldn't have done the previous turn. But, um, yeah, like, I feel like building is reasonable. But uh, oh, we might see a stable stud here. There's a chance. Yeah, if the sage draws a uh Oh no. Found a copper. They still there's eight curses and seven coppers in the trash, so there's still quite a few coppers. Um and if people can get a piazza, it's also they have a lot of you know, piazza and stables don't work well together. You want your deck with stables draw to have quite a few treasures in it, and piazza wants a deck that has extremely high action density. But I think Piazza is a fine thing to click on on five. I mean, they've got a bunch of other random um, cantrips in there, like the familiars and sage and whatnot for Piazza to hit. Yeah, they also and, have a, uh, a monastery in hand and coppers in play. That, yeah, that's, maybe, maybe that wasn't a specific turn to buy it. <laughs> um, I mean, then again, you can't really thin out all your coppers. Like, they have almost no treasures. Like, what? <laughs> Two silvers have been gained between the two of them this entire time. If they if they trap all the coppers, the tables just die. I guess I was a, yeah. You're assuming if Trading Post is bought, then each of these decks have four or five silvers in them. Yeah, like I'm imagining a deck that is that is more full of silvers than it in fact is when I think about trashing coppers. And that counterfactual deck trashing coppers would be quite reasonable. Yeah, but Aliby's just got a couple of a uh, couple of province lead here now. Although, as you noted, they are running out of treasures. Yeah. <laughs> so Team OK right. is going to be able to hit two province here if they want to. Probably should, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, when I said there's. Eight coppers in the trash. We should also note that nine coppers have been bought. <laughs> so there's actually more coppers in play now than there were at the beginning of the game. Um, which I guess just tells you that familiar is really annoying attack. Yeah. All right. So hit seven. So Illuby has more sages. Is there any thought to going double sage here? To low the yeah, so one thing I was thinking about was double sage just to lower piles and threaten that. You might also say it's about time to put some more silvers in my deck so my stables doesn't dud. Um, or, I mean, like two silvers or gold, copper, both achieve kind of the same thing. Um <laughs> If you buy the gold, does do you really need the copper? I was just saying two silvers and gold copper end up being equivalent in terms of put two treasures in your deck worth four money together. Yeah. Um I'm not sure if they if they want coppers or not. Cause like the the ideal deck here I think has more of the stables, but they seem to consider that card not a high priority. Yeah. I'm also shocked that what? Team OK is not discarding the potion here. They, they want that familiar. Because if they, they had two opportunities to discard it, and they would have eight here to buy a province, which you think would be good. You can't buy province when there's familiars to be had. 
So Aelivy did end up getting Villa Sage. Yeah, not if I'm they not quite... don't, I'm going to be annoyed that they didn't discard the potion. How far are they going back? <laughs> undo to turn one. I'm saying undo to the last stables discard seems a little a little far. They're gonna buy familiar silver animal fair. That seems fine. I yeah, I think we both prefer they discard the potion and buy a province there though. How many familiars do they have? How many points is this going to be worth? Do we know? I was under the impression that they had... Um, Alivi had three. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, these... these so best case scenario here. Alivi should just buy that last familiar, I think. Um, most likely. Yeah. This may actually be a spot where buying a villa makes some sense. Hmm, let's see. I mean, the villa pays for itself, essentially. It's actually worth X, one extra coin, because you get five money back from spending four. Yeah. Uh, and they could, in theory, use that to trash more coppers if they really want to. Yeah. I, I think you, you buy the last familiar. It's worth two points. Um, the counter actually, to that... Even, count, count this up. You buy villa, play animal fair, buy familiar sage. The counter to that is Team OK is going to have to waste a turn to get those two points. They're going to have to waste a whole we're buy. We're going to hand, right? Villa now, and then double stage. Yeah, they found it. Oh, very nicely done. And yeah, they had a lot more points in the Sage pile. Uh, weird, Indeed. weird finish. But um, well played by Illibi.